Shivash and Shivam are best friends as you know. So uh, Shivam was asked a question in his Facebook interview. He found this problem as one of the best problems he has ever been asked in an interview. So he asked Shubhash to solve the problem. Okay. The problem is as follows. The interviewer gave him a value N. Okay. So N was the value that was given to him. And also the interviewer gave him 2 into N minus 1 numbers. Okay. The sign of the number is not limited to positive. That means you are given all types of numbers like positive, negative as well as zero. The interviewer allowed him an operation in which Shivam can select any n numbers, I repeat, any n numbers, okay, given to him. And he can reverse the sign of every number. Like if he's selecting n numbers, the signs will get, like if, if it's a plus, it will get a negative. If it's a negative, it will get a positive. Okay, so the interviewer allowed Shivam to perform this operations as many times as he wanted, right? After Shivam has performed this operation as many times as he wished to, the interview needs the maximum, like the sum of the, like the maximum sum of the entire array. So that's, that's in short the question. I'll come back to it if you have any doubts, but yes, let me complete it. Shivas solved this question. Now he gave the question to his junior Raj, that is you, and he expects a solution for uh, this question. Let's see if you can solve this question. So basically, let's take the first example. Okay, let's take the first example. N is given as 2. Okay, and uh, the 2 into N minus 1 numbers are 50, 50, and 10. 50, 50, and 10. And the output is 110. So, Shubhash, like, as a solution, uh, I will I'll never decide to alter anything. I'll keep the array as it is, and the uh, sum that I can obtain is 110. In the second example, if I have minus 1, minus 10, minus 1, okay, if I have this. So, what will happen is, uh, I'll decide that, okay, I'll, as I can select n numbers, I'm going to select these two numbers, okay. I'm going to reverse the bits, so reverse the signs. So, this will become 1, 10, minus 1, clear? So, the entire sum of the array is 10. Basically, this becomes, if I give it, this basically becomes 1, 10 minus 1, correct? So the sum of this entire array will be 10. Right? I, I hope I, I hope the question is clear. For people who, who have joined new, the question is very simple. I can give you any array, right? Like n size n will be given to you and you'll be given 2n minus 1 numbers, okay? And you select any n numbers. So the test case that Raj took, we will select these three numbers, okay? So if you select these three numbers, you'll reverse them. So three will become minus three, minus five will become five, minus six will become six. So it has turned. Now I select the first three numbers. So they will turn to positive. So this is what we get. Okay. Now can you just summarize your answer over here so that. Okay. Okay. So if I just, okay, let me go to the screen. Okay. Like if my approach is something like if N is given, Suppose it is even, like, then for even number of negative numbers, even negative numbers, we, we will get all numbers as positive, like in any operation we will get, I'm sure of that based on my examples. And if I had like, odd negative numbers, like there will be a minimum one number will be negative at any optimal case, like, it has to be like the, uh, we can convert it into something like, we, we can uh, like choose the minimum uh, minimum element in the whole array and that will be our only negative that yes. will be our best case yes. in that case right. yes for, but if any n is odd uh, if n is odd and we are having even negative numbers then we can have like one second Even or not, both are coming same. One is positive, one is positive. Okay, okay. For even numbers, we are getting on. I think similar for both cases. Like for all, yeah, n is even or odd, it doesn't matter. It is same for both the cases. Like n and in the odd numbers, then we are having like minimum one number will be negative. Uh, uh, so for, this is my approach. Uh, for odd, 
for odd i don't think like because for odd mm-hmm. for odd you can convert it right okay let okay. me just see what i i wrote that there yeah. for n equal to odd right for yes. any n equal to odd uh, n equal to 5 then n is odd right when i am having even number of ones when the when i am having even numbers one that case i am i can convert in my opinion because in this example what i have seen like n equal to 5 like i i think you you are in same page as i am like you are in page 11 like it is not 11 okay but you can see my cursor right yes yeah so in that line i i just um, wrote all the possibilities if 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 it is uh, in given number of times like uh, if i have two negative and we take three positive numbers so at at last what we have like three negatives we have so we will we will be having like um, okay for even and equal to one and suppose we have even number of negative ones so let me write here only like what need of doing suppose n is odd no you were actually you, you had a doubt on like even case or odd case like odd case right yes n equal to five and when we have even number of negative numbers we have two negative numbers suppose two negative numbers and what are the cases we can go like see one case we can pick both the negative numbers and three positive numbers in this case what we can get is we will get like uh three negative numbers correct yeah there will be three negative numbers if i choose one negative number and three four positive numbers what i can get is like one number was already there, one negative number, and we have to use more four positive numbers, so it will be like five negative numbers. So in this case, we can convert when n is odd and for two, for there is uh, a count of negative numbers is two, then we can obviously convert it into all numbers are positive. We can make all the numbers positive. But okay, let's take four also. Like if for surety, like let's take four negative numbers in our array. So, four negative numbers. So if I uh, take four negative numbers and one positive number, so at last what we get is one negative number. So again, it is coming in like odd, odd, and negative, no, odd number of negative numbers at any after any operation. If you see, mm. so there is a possibility. There can be a possibility I, uh, that after any operation, there will be like n is obviously odd. And we are getting odd number of negative uh, count of odd number of negative numbers at any after any operation. So five can come in an operation. Like let me just see think three negative numbers and two positive numbers. And if here we can get like one was already there, one negative number, and two we are adding, so it will be three negative numbers. So let's take another next case: two negative numbers and three positive numbers. Then we get two plus three because we have had two negative numbers beforehand only so here we are getting five negative numbers so now in this case we can like convert into all numbers are negative or numbers we can make it we can make positive hmm. right. uh, in this case we are we can, in this case we can do so uh, that if this continues like i can what i can surely say is like if n is odd yes. and there are even numbers of negative numbers so we can convert all the numbers positive yeah that is for sure i yes. i can think so uh, if i'm summarizing both of your points since uh, we are running out of time so if i okay. summarize both of your points uh, uh, i think you're saying if it is n is odd the answer will always be the absolute sum of the array right absolute uh, the sum of actually, all numbers uh, actually it is actually it is same for i think both uh, it is same for both like n is odd or even when it is even like it will be like all sum of numbers it will be sum of all the numbers and for odd it will be minimum one will be there like minimum one negative will be there solution so first of okay. all yeah uh, uh, like hats off to you because like coming uh live across 500 people is not that easy and that's go- that's going on okay so uh, it's an amazing try that you have given so i'll discuss the solution guys and then i'll give some feedbacks and after that we okay. can definitely wrap up the session so first of all i think you uh, went on some wrong direction so the answer okay. will be if n is odd the answer will always be the sum of absolute right so if you just take okay. up 
if n is odd if you take positive uh, positive like if you take odd negatives or if you take even negatives doesn't mm -hmm. matter you can if, if you can just think back if n is mm -hmm. odd like if n is odd the answer is like mm -hmm. sum of right. absolute of a of i right all of absolute like you can try out for, for everyone who's watching you can definitely try out by taking any examples and if you sit back okay. you will find this answer that if n is odd the answer is okay. going to be sum of absolute of okay. a of i you can convert okay. every given number to a positive number again you can keep trying on examples and you'll find this stuff and if you want a mathematical stuff uh, the the stuff that raj started with is taking one number and all the others positive or taking two numbers and then taking all the others positive mm -hmm. taking three numbers that was the uh, whole point where you started right so you should have yes. gone over there okay i can actually pick up anything as i wish and that is the reason you can convert all of them okay so if n is even okay if n is even and there are two cases okay if number of like if uh, n like if all if odd numbers are odd okay if odd numbers are odd then the answer will be some minus like you cannot convert a single like you can leave like all the numbers can be converted into positive except one number got it yes all right now what i'm meaning okay. to say like you can convert because okay. if you try out combinations you'll be left out with one number like if n is even i repeat if n is even okay if okay. even if n is even if odd numbers are odd like sorry uh if negative numbers are odd my bad if negative numbers are odd then one number cannot be converted into negative got it all others can be that one will be the smallest negative number okay again uh, i think you came to this just because there are so yeah. many cases you and the interview pressure the 500 people live watching people that is why you missed oh, this no. case right i think you you yeah. came this you came to this case then you started confusing yourself right and again uh, people yeah, for, actually excuse me like uh, yeah, yeah like n is like the number of like n is what like n, n is, is not like 2n minus size. 1 no yes. it's not 2n minus 1 n is just even okay n is n just even is okay n is just even uh, 2n minus 1 is the numbers and if there are odd negative numbers then this will be the answer okay and if if negative numbers are even okay then you again came across to this where you actually proved actually uh, you are sure that you can convert all right yes, you're yes. sure about this but since there are so many cases you you could not gather all of them into a single frame correct so i i think like uh, that one thing i i made mistake is like for like n equal to odd mm -hmm. and for odd number of bits like i wrote like minimum one number will be negative yes, so you... in that case like I, I i have to like recheck my example like if i can make all the numbers positive yes 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 so if negative numbers are even convert all positives all will be positives that will be the sum of the array so obviously if if n is even in negative numbers like are odd the, the answer is some absolute sum except uh, like you have to take the absolute sum and you have to just subtract the minimum negative number that's going to be yes, the answer yes. so again yeah. it was a constructive problem for people watching this problem it's not an easy problem firstly it's a 1700 uh, to 1800 rated problem at code forces and uh, will this be asked in Amazon? No. Will this be asked in Facebook? Probably yes. Will this be asked in Google? Yes, it can be. Uh, for my company like Media.net, it definitely asks these questions. Um, I think Utka, sorry, Raj has given the interviews at a lot of companies. So yeah, that that is the solution for this. So if someone will ask me how did I approach this again, Raj, if you if this problem would have come up in a code forces round, I'm very much sure you would have taken a lot of test cases and if figure out a solution yeah, just because I would, I would just like run a random brute for solution first yes, and just yes, saw yes. for any to feedback correct correct I so just... so for everyone who's watching out i'll give some feedbacks for this interview right first of all yeah. it's an interview i know you will be nervous but you need to have your nerves right you you cannot get nervous and you cannot scatter everything if you are if you're feeling like you're getting nervous take a pause that's the most important thing you should take a pause drink some water 
be calm like be be in a relaxing position that was missing so if you're giving any interview i think that is the main so we're not relaxed at all <laughs> like mad what is happening okay so please be relaxed for me next time when you give an interview yes, the I next know. thing is see if you know an answer if you know an answer then pretending brute better optimal is perfect but if you do not know an answer don't pretend whatever comes to your mind just say it right don't pretend like I, the feeling that i got was you are starting to be very interview conventional okay, i'm going to uh, say brood then i'm going to optimize it that is something which is clearly visible to everyone on the chat right everyone everyone on the chat was saying that ki is over complicating this so yeah let's make sure you be be yourself the way you are a competitive like see you are a competitive programmer be a competitive yeah. programmer you're going to be hard okay unless until it's a question which involves binary tree linked list then start from the op- that solution but for questions like this i will recommend that you should not go in that direction rather whatever is the solution try test cases because you saw you took so much of time right so that is that is one of the feedbacks uh, the other feedback is uh, the approaches that you are telling were not so much clear to the interviewer okay like okay. you are very much like you are not clear in your thought process that is what i can say you are like i'll do this okay. i'll do that so just be a bit more like have m- bit more clarity when you are speaking i was missing clarity was uh, absolutely missing like everyone was okay. watching it out everyone was very much confused like what are you speaking about okay like uh, in yeah. the chat box everyone saying what is he speaking like they were not able to understand so just imagine if someone uh, is taking an interview he might also feel the same perfect right and the other thing that i felt was um, probably see everything should not be done in google docs if you're giving an interview you can definitely use pen and paper and you after that you can tell him the uh, test cases on the google doc it's not necessary that if you uh, are giving an interview you'll write everything in google doc okay just because it's an online interview you should not write everything in google doc you can take the permission from interviewer that i'm going to try test cases on my pen and paper you will say yes after that you try it out and after that whatever things like let's say you have figured out you've tried 10 test cases you've figured out two write that in the google doc and say them that this is the test cases this helped me to figure out the answer got it that is a you do just because you wrote in google doc firstly so you have to think how to write and that that wasted your thinking and if it were in pen and paper you would have done it easily right now yeah. right i'll not go to the code because yes. coding this is not a big deal so yeah now placement 2021 now a lot of you uh, actually prepare using lead code and a lot of you would not have done cp or there are a lot of people who have not started cp so if you're someone who's looking to start cp or you're someone who's just looking to do so much of cp that you should be able to crack coding rounds of top product based companies then you can definitely check out this batch upcoming batch that is placement 2021 which is a four month track uh, to crack any coding round of any product based company and it's going to start on august 1 the batch will be completely in english yeah and i'm not sure why hindi is written but yeah the batch will be completely in english and uh, i'll be taking that on saturday on sunday basically weekends so if you have office if you have college doesn't matters saturday sunday is what i am going to take so in order to get access to this batch you have to take up a subscription now the batch is of 4 months so if you take up a 3 month subscription using my coupon code striver okay that is s t r i v e r if you take up a subscription using my coupon code striver then the moment you pay for the subscription of 3 months you will get a 4 month subscription activated before that you will be shown 3 months but the moment you use the coupon code and you take it you will get a 4 month subscription and an additional 10% discount now along with my batch what will you get you will get other batches that are currently running on uh, the platform like you can watch any of them or you can watch any of the batches that have happened uh, in the past okay so all of them are india's best programmers and all the classes are live as well as you will get dedicated doubt support after my batch or any other batch and i'll also be giving you a selected set of problems after every class so that you can practice 